Hey everybody, De really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Nor 9 for Commons. And we are continuing along with the extra short stories here. And uh, we're on Masamune today. So I'm just gonna get right to it. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. The vegetables are growing so well. It was a warm afternoon. Our team split off into pairs, and we began to do our work in the fields. You seem to be in a good mood. Did something good happen to you? I realized that Mr. Masamune, who was just watering the plants, was looking over at me. Huh? Doesn't seem like it. Nothing out of the ordinary happened. If there's a reason for it, I think maybe it's because I'm with you. With me? Uh, oh, I see. Mr. Masamune, is something the matter? Uh, no, it's nothing. Uh, I just remember, Kakeru was causing Senri problems again. Senri should just back down, but he deliberately says things to rock Kakeru up. I just hope they're working together today. Compared to those guys, you're always working hard and don't cause any problems. You're a great help. I'm happy to be of assistance, Mr. Masamune. There's really not too much I can do besides this after all. You're always doing a lot of work around the ship outside of your official team duties, and I'm just... No, you're doing just great as you are. Don't you worry about a thing. Y yes Mr. Masamune says such nice things, but in reality, I want to do so much more for him. If those two would just get along a little better, things would be so much easier. Ugh. Mr. Masamune... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to vent my problems to you. N no I can see that it's wearing you out just from looking at you. Feel free to tell me whatever you need. I want to know more about what's on your mind. Thank you, Gaharu. Just hearing you say those words is a big help to me. Yes, I'm happy to be of any help. But instead of just giving you helpful words, it would be even better if I could help you out in a more tangible way. No, don't worry about that. You said it earlier, but it helps me to relax just by being here and spending time with you. Mr. Masamune smiled as he spoke those words, but I still saw fatigue in his expression. It's true, he must be tired from everything that was going on recently. It makes sense, since he's always working so hard for everybody. But here I am, getting myself all excited because I'm able to spend time with him. As I watered the crops, and thought about Mr. Masamune, I heard a voice from across the field. Masamune, I finally found you! Oh, hello, Mikoto! What's the matter? Mikoto made a worried expression with her eyebrows and ran over here where we were. What's the matter? What's the matter? Heishi and Akito are fighting. That is the matter. Well, it is less of a fight and more like Akito just lashing out at Heishi. Can you just do something about it? Those guys again. What are they fighting over this time? Heishi made terrible food again, and used up all the ingredients on the ship. All the ingredients on the ship? How'd he manage that? To compound the problem, he even used up the food that Akito was prepping. Well, that explains it. Heishi really is a troublesome guy. W where are they now? Akito is chasing Heishi around the kitchen and dining hall in an uncontrollable rage. So everything there is now in shambles. I got it. I'll talk to them. Please! You are the only one who can stop them before this gets out of hand. Is it not already out of hand? Well, sorry, Kohoru. I gotta get going. It's okay. I have already watered all the crops, so I will take care of the cleanup. I apologize. I'll leave the rest to you. Mr. Masamune, he's as busy as ever. He said not to worry, but if he's always working that much, he must really be exhausted. I wonder if there really is nothing that I can help him with. Not just being with him, but something that I can actually do for him that will actually make his life a little easier. Oh, speaking of which... The best thing to cheer an exhausted Masamune up is love and sugar. In other words, what we need to do is bake in some cookies. Mr. 
Heishi said that when Mr. Masamune was tired from nursing Yuiga back to health. You want to make cookies again? Come on, do something new. What will help him is love and something sweet. But Mr. Masamune gets drunk if he eats anything that is too sweet, so I can't give him sweet snacks. I wonder if there's nothing other than snacks that will help him feel better. Oh, I got it. I can make him some delicious food. Oh, yeah, but the food that Mr. Agito makes is probably better than anything I could cook. And plus, there's no ingredients left on the ship, remember? Maybe I can help Mr. Masamune with some of his work. Wait, that won't work either. I can't give a report to the world instead of him, and I can't make everyone on the ship get along like he can. I'm out of ideas. I just can't think of anything to help him. I don't know what to do. Koharu, is something wrong? Why are you zoning out like that? Oh, it's Yuiga and Mr. Sunri. Well, it seems like Masamune isn't here. So did you guys finish your work out here? Yes, now I just have to clean everything up. I'm doing forced labor, and Toya is just skipping out. That's totally unfair. Oh no, he's not skipping out. Mikoto asked Mr. Masamune to help out with something in the dining hall. Is he playing peacemaker again? He sure has his hands full. Y yes Then, we'll help you clean up. I must have heard wrong, because it sounded like you said that we'll help her with the cleanup. You couldn't possibly be asking me to do any more brutal labor. I'll just be heading off to my room. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Just, where do you think you're going? Mr. Senri tries to sneak back to his room, but Yuiga snags him by his collar. Don't be so shy. This will just be between the two of us after all. The two of us, as in we, understand? <laughs> Don't pull me! I finished my work! There's no reason for me to stick around! I'll give you a choice. You can either help out now, or face consequences to be determined later. <laughs> okay, fine. You should have just done that from the start. Uh, I'm sorry. Thank you, guys. Don't worry about it. We'll all pitch in and get it done quick. Uh. We divvied up the work, and we finished cleaning up the tools used in the field. Thank you so much. We finished so quickly because of your help. It was no problem. When we arrived, you were just zoned out or something. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about some things. Such as? Oh, yeah. I was thinking about how to help Mr. Masamune. I'll ask Yuiga and Mr. Senri for ideas. Well, you see... When you two were tired, what helps you relax the most, other than sweets? The two looked like they were briefly in thought after hearing my sudden question. Other than sweets, huh? I see. Yuiga, do you have an idea? No, it's nothing. A way to relax? Why would you ask that out of the blue? The easiest way to relax is to make sure that you're never tired in the first place. How do you do that? By never doing any work? You just stay in your room and don't interact with anyone. If you just do that, you'll never end up feeling tired. So you're saying you should relax in your room to avoid getting tired? Yup. Don't talk to anybody, don't work, then ask the Hyokos to bring you all three meals of the day, and everything will be perfect. <laughs> hmm. You say such strange things, Senri. You ever stop to think about how much time and effort I put into getting you out of your room, and this is how you repay me? Uh, I didn't ask you to do any of that. You're just... Senri, you and I are going to have a nice long talk later. Uh. So, Mr. Senri relaxes by resting in his room. I see. That could be a very valid answer. Everybody needs time to relax sometimes. What do you think, Yuiga? Hmm, me? Well, when I want to relax, what I like to do is take care of my plants and observe them. Taking care of plants. That's right. And when I see plants grow, I can feel myself really relaxing. People say that growing plants is a good way to help people reduce stress. Oh, so that's why it feels good when you look at flowers. Your input has been very helpful. Thank you both so much. I don't know why you're so curious about that topic, but sure. 
Now to go and recuperate from all the backbreaking labor I just did, as well as Yuiga's bullying, I bid you adieu. Mr. Senri, thank you for your help. Please get a good rest. Maybe I'll go back to my room and rest up for a bit as well. I need to water my plants. Yes, thank you too, Yuiga. Please take care. Yep, my regards to Masamune. Did Yuiga know that I was talking about Mr. Masamune all along? Of course. Anyway, I'm glad I was able to get their opinions. It would be beautiful if I planted something in my room. Maybe Mr. Masamune would enjoy looking at it. But even if I planted something now, it wouldn't grow immediately. It would take time before we would see it. Would a better way to help Mr. Masamune relax immediately be to have him rest in his room? If Mr. Masamune were to spend some time relaxing in his room... Kaharu. Oh, Mr. Masamune! I apologize. It took a lot longer than I was expecting to get that straightened out. Did you finish cleaning up already? Yes! Yuiga and Mr. Senri helped me out. I see. Sorry that I left you out here by yourself. No, it was nothing. Anyway, Mr. Masamune... Um... I'll try to bring it up to him. Hmm? What's up? If you'd like, would you like to relax with me in my room? Uh, relax with you? Yes, let's take a break and drink some tea. Uh, oh, that's what you mean. Well, it's a bit of a problem if I'm spending time in a girl's room, but it's just the two of us. Is it because you're busy again? No, that's not it, but... Good, then I'll pour some tea for us. Huh? Uh, okay. I'll do my best to help Mr. Masamune relax. Mr. Masamune and I went to my room, and I started getting ready to make tea. I'm preparing the tea leaves right now, so hold on for a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Well, we know not to massage his shoulders because that freaks him out, so we'll show him a book. Wait! I'll do something to keep him occupied so he isn't just sitting around waiting for tea. Oh yeah, I just checked out a book from the library the other day. What book did you borrow? It's a book about animals. It has lots of useful information about all different kinds of animals, and it's really fun. Um, oh, this is a rabbit. It's cute, right? I've never seen a real one, so I want to see one of them someday. Oh, look Mr. Masamune, this animal is cute too. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting all excited on my own. No, don't worry about it. If you're having fun, that's all that matters. I'm not helping him relax. I'm just enjoying myself. Oh, by the way, was everything okay earlier? That situation between Mr. Akito and Mr. Heishi. Yeah, everything was taken care of. Heishi apologized for what he did, and that seemed to cool Akito's anger for now. I'm glad to hear that. I hope there won't be any more incidents like that. I was worried about that too, so I posted a notice in the kitchen. It reads, do not waste food supplies. It would be easy if that would resolve all the fighting. But it probably won't. I hope everybody reads it and listens. Oh, the tea seems to be ready. I'll pour it in the pot. Thank you. Then I will glad. Ugh, how many times do I have to tell you before it penetrates your skull? Huh? This is the first time we've ever spoken, isn't it? You're the new guy. Oh, that voice! Oh, I said the wrong voice before. Oh, sorry. I've been on this ship for ages now. I've had this exact same conversation with you multiple times. You always forget. Huh? Really? Ugh. I wonder what started all of this. Sorry, but duty calls. I have to go check on it. I'm sorry. You even poured tea for me and everything. No, don't worry about it. Mr. Masamune let out a heavy sigh and exited the room to check on the commotion. Mr. Masamune didn't even have time for tea. To have someone as busy as Mr. Masamune stop by and drink tea is something rather difficult, it seems. I was just watching the steam rise from the two lonely cups of tea at a loss as to what to do. I must think of a better way to help Mr. Masamune relax. I should go and ask everybody for their relaxation tips, instead of only using Mr. Senri and, and Yuiga's methods. Huh, oh, that's such a beautiful day outside. Love, we're all stuck indoors cleaning. 
And I'm with Sakuya. Complain less and clean more. It's not as if I enjoy cleaning here with you either. Mr. Itsuki and Mr. Sakuya are over there. Oh, I wonder if Miss will return soon. I would immediately just sweep her into my arms and... <laughs> Ouch. Oh, my apologies. It appears that my hand slipped. Uh, ouch! There's no way that your hand just accidentally slipped, turned into a fist, and hit me in the stomach. <laughs> turned into a fist and... <laughs> they actually look kind of cute standing close together like that, though. <laughs> uh, are you okay? Hmm? Oh, hello, Koharu. Uh, what are you both doing? We're cleaning as part of our team duties. Mikoto went to clean up the mess that resulted with... that resulted from Akito and Heishi's clash. I see. Do you need any help? No, it'll be fine. Itsuki's well rested from all the days he never does any work, so we'll just work him to the bone today. Oh, that's cruel. Anyway, can we help you with something? I'll ask Mr. Itsuki and Mr. Sakuya for their opinions on relaxing. Um, I actually have something I that I wanted to ask you two. When you two are tired, what helps you guys relax? Oh, don't ask Itsuki that. What helps us relax? Yes. Also, it would be helpful if your answer didn't involve eating sweets. Well, it's definitely girls for me. Girls? What do you mean? If I spend time with a cute girl, then my worries and stress just flies out the window. Ah, uh, of course that's what you'd say. Oh, and you deny that it's true for you, Sakuya? No matter how tired you are, you always try to spend time with Miss. That's simply to protect her from unsavory characters like yourself. Now, now, using me as an excuse, you should stop being dishonest with yourself. Now you're just being obnoxious. Koharu, that is just Itsuki's worthless opinion. So, please don't use that as an example. Oh, I understand. So, girls are only something that would help Mr. Itsuki relax. Then, what would you do, Mr. Sakuya? When I'm tired, I take a walk and try to let my heart be at peace. I can set my mind free, plus it's also good to get your body some exercise. I see. Hmm, taking a walk. Maybe that will help Mr. Masamune relax. Thank you both. I will take what you said into consideration. I'm glad we were able to help. I'll be leaving now. Good luck with the cleaning. A walk can be done immediately. I'll go find Mr. Masamune right away. Hey, Koharu. Mr. Itsuki, who I had just left, came running to get me. Mr. Itsuki, what's wrong? Well, I was just curious about something. Were you planning something for Masa? Uh, how did you know that? Well, just call it a hunch. He's been a lot busier than usual. Y yes he has been. That's why I thought that maybe there was something I could do to help him relax a little more. Oh, I see. Masa's really lucky to have someone like you thinking about him. No, it's not like that. Because I still don't know what I can do to help Mr. Masamune, and I can't come up with any good ideas myself. If that's the case, then maybe it might be best if you ask Masamune directly. Ask Mr. Masamune? Yeah, well, I think in this case, it'd be best to just go directly to the source and ask what he wants. That's a good idea, but first, I'll try spending a bit more time thinking about an answer on my own. Thank you. No problem. It'll be good to see him happy for a change. I love Itsuki. He's always trying to help the girls out with their relationships. He's so sweet. Mr. Masamune's smiling face popped into my head. Itsuki, where have you run off to with all the work that you have yet to finish? N damn it. I gotta go. See ya. Mr. Itsuki ran all the way here just for me. Thank you. I want to see Mr. Masamune smile. I wonder what the best method to help Mr. Masamune relax is. Mr. Senri says to help him rest in his room. Yuiko says taking care of plants. 
Mr. Itsuki says to spend time with girls, and Mr. Sakaya says to take a walk. It seems that everybody has different methods of relaxing. But what is the thing that I should do for Mr. Masamune to help him out? Mr. Senri's suggestion to spend time in a room with him was a failure earlier. Maybe I can help Mr. Masamune relax by taking him on a walk like Mr. Sakaya suggested. Garu? Oh, Mr. Masamune! Why are you all startled? It, it's nothing! Oh, if you have some free time, would you like to take a walk with me? A walk? Sure, I don't mind. But what's gotten into you lately? I thought it would be a good way to take your mind off things. Mr. Sakaya said so. It's also good for your health, and also, I just wanted to walk with you. Kohoru? Yeah, sure. Let's go for a walk together. Yay! We immediately began walking around the ship, and we arrived at the forest on the third floor. The breeze feels good, plus these fields make me feel really calm. Yeah, the scenery is much different here. Let's see... I don't see the benefit of either one in particular. I guess I'll... take in my surroundings? I listen to my surroundings and make out cute little chirping sounds. Ah, oh, I can hear the birds chirping! Maybe they're living in the forest somewhere. We look around and found a nest in the crook of a tree branch. Mr. Masamune, look! In that tree over there! That's... a bulbul. Looks like it's nesting here. It's a cute nest! I had no idea. They aren't very common in the area where we'd come from. Mr. Masamune looked a little more relaxed than usual as he observed the bulbul nest. I wonder if this walk has helped him relax even if it's just a little bit. Hmm? Mr. Masamune's expression changed quickly as he heard footsteps. Huh? Oh, it's you two. Yuiga, what's wrong? We were just patrolling the ship. Were you guys also on patrol? Huh? Uh, um... No, we weren't. But I guess we kind of were. We walked all the way here from the stairs, but we haven't seen anything strange yet. Understood. Then we'll go check out the other floors. And leave the patrol of this floor to you two. Oh, make sure you keep out of harm's way. Yeah, I know. See you later, Kakeru. See you later. This area has a lot of areas to hide. So let's make sure we don't miss a thing. Uh, yes! Mr. Masamune looks around sharply as he moves the tall grass and shakes the tree branches. Our walk has become a patrol now. Mr. Masamune was relaxing until a minute ago, but now he's focused on doing work again. He has a big sense of responsibility, so I guess this will be patrolling from this point on. My plan to help Mr. Masamune relax with a stroll was also a failure. Great. Everything is in order here. We'll just let Kakeru know later. Hmm? What's the matter? Why'd you go quiet all of a sudden? Um, to help Mr. Masamune relax, maybe I should take Mr. Itsuki's advice and just ask Mr. Masamune himself. Um, Mr. Masamune... Hmm, what's wrong? Mr. Masamune, when you're tired, what do you like to do to relax? Relax? Yes, I've noticed that you seem really tired recently. So, I've been thinking about how to help you relax. Kohoru... You've been thinking about me this whole time? I don't know if that means that I was thinking of you. I just wanted to help you relax, even if it was just a little bit. That makes me happy. Thank you. Your feelings alone are more than enough for me. But, but, just having these feelings isn't going to make your stress go away. I want to do something for you, Mr. Masamune. I want to help you. Kaharu. Am I bothering you? No, it's not like that. I'm really happy. Thank you. But I can't think of anything right away, so please give me some time to think about it. Yes, I understand. Well then, I'm going to report to the world, so please go ahead and go back without me. Oh, okay. I'll see you later. Mr. 
Masamune nods and makes his way to the stairs leading to the rooftop. Mr. Masamune left. He's just so very busy. Maybe using the same methods everyone else uses isn't the best way to help him relax. I'll think hard again about what I can do for Mr. Masamune. Resting in the room and taking a walk were both no good. So then what's left is... Girls? <laughs> hey, pay attention where you're walking. You can end up getting hurt. M Mr. Akito! Be careful. See ya. Well, that was short. <laughs> Mr. Akito, please wait! Huh? What? Well, well, I want to ask you something. I think I will make something sweet for Mr. Masamune. Really? <laughs> but Mr. Masamune will get drunk if he eats too many sweets, so... Is it possible to make a snack that doesn't have too much sugar? Huh? Yeah, of course it's possible. Huh? Really? Usually, when you think of snacks, you think of things with a lot of sugar. There are snacks that aren't sweet too. Some snacks substitute honey for sugar. Sometimes you can just add a little salt to make it savory. I didn't know there were ways to make snacks like that. Oh yeah. You were making cookies the other day, right? Why don't you try a non-sweet cookie? A non-sweet cookie? How do you make that? Ugh. I guess there's no backing out now. Do you have a paper and pen? Oh, um, yes. Is this okay? Mr. Akito runs his pen along the memo pad that I handed him. I wonder what he's writing. This should work. Here you go. Y yes Th This is... On the memo pad that Mr. Akito handed back to me was the recipe for a non-sweet cookie. There's butter and flour in the kitchen, so just use that. Th thank you so much! It's amazing to find anybody on the ship who's trying to cook edible food. If someone's actually willing to learn, then I don't mind teaching them. If you just follow the directions, you shouldn't get anything terrible out of it. Good luck. Y yes See ya. Thank you, Mr. Akito. Now I can give Mr. Masamune something special. After seeing Mr. Akito, I dashed off to the kitchen, clutching the memo pad. There's a note on the wall. This handwriting... Don't waste ingredients. I seem to recall Mr. Masamune telling me about a warning notice that he put up in the kitchen. Do not waste food supplies. Also, no more fighting. Everybody, please do their best to get along. I hope everybody reads this. Alright, I will work hard to make non-sweet cookies for Mr. Masamune. Mr. Akito's recipe, as long as I follow his directions, it should be okay. I have all the utensils and ingredients. I'll give it my best. First, I'll melt the butter, then combine it with the flour and egg. I take the butter I melted in the microwave and start mixing it, when all of a sudden... Oh, that smells nice. Oh, Mr. Ron! You're making something. Yes, I'm making a non-sweet cookie recipe. Mr. Akito told me that there's a way to make non-sweet snacks. Hmm, is that so? And on top of that, apparently there are snacks where you can replace sugar with honey, or snacks where you can add some salt. Hmm, you seem to be in a good mood. Yep, it's my first time trying to make a non-sweet snack, so I'm excited. Um, after this, I can add salt for flavor. Huh? Oh, where's the salt? Hmm, isn't that it over there? I look in the direction where Mr. Ron is pointing and see that it's high up on a cupboard, along with a lot of other seasonings. Oh, you're right! Thank you! The salt is next to the sugar on that cupboard. Oh, she's gonna get the sugar on accident instead. Here we go! I stand on my tiptoes to reach it, but I just can't seem to grab it. I can't reach! I don't have anything to stand on, what should I do? Ask Ron. Um, Mr. Ron? What? 
I'm sorry to bother you, but can you grab the salt from on top the shelf? Okay. Ron, easily grab the salt from the top of the cupboard for me. There you go. Thank you very much. Well, I'm going back to my room. Okay, thanks for your help. Mr. Ron grabbed the drink from the fridge and left the kitchen. Mr. Ron just wanted a drink, I see. Well then, time to add the salt. Mr. Akito's recipe said a dash of salt. I don't know what a dash is, so how about this? Since I'm using it to replace the sugar, maybe I should add more. Okay, how about this? I hope that tastes good. From there, I let the dough set, then cut out the shapes and the cookies were almost done. They look finished. I'll take them out now. I take the hot cookies out of the oven. It's the right color and the right shape. It looks good, but how do they taste? I'll just have to try one out. This is... It's sweet and tasty. Why? It's a sweet and perfectly good cookie. It's no different than the cookie that I made with Mikoto the other day. I meant to make a non-sweet cookie, but it came out sweet. This is... a failure. I put in salt. Why did it turn out sweet? I glanced over at the container of salt on top of the table. Could it be... I put some on my hand and tasted it. <gasps> on the container, in big bold letters, was the word sugar. This is sugar, not salt. Mr. Ron must have grabbed the wrong ingredient for me. This is... another failure. It came out so well, but I can't give these ones to Mr. Masamune. I glance at the clock, and I see that it's already close to time to prepare dinner. If I have to remake the dough, I won't have enough time. Huh? Hmm? Is that you, Koharu? Mr. Masamune? Were you making something? But it isn't our job to make dinner tonight. Uh, um, this is... I didn't make the cookie that I was supposed to get to Mr. Masamune yet. I can't believe that he bumped into me while I was trying to make them for him. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? This is... um... That's a cookie. Were you making these? This is a failed cookie. Failed? It looks like a perfectly made cookie to me. It was supposed to be a non-sweet cookie. Huh? Non-sweet cookie? Yes, I thought that if it wasn't sweet, then you would be able to enjoy it. You were trying to make non-sweet cookies for me. Yes, but it was a failure. This is just a regular sweet cookie. I mistook the sugar for salt, and I put in the wrong thing. I see. I understand the situation. But why were you trying to make a non-sweet cookie for me? I mentioned that I wanted to help you relax earlier, and... After I thought about it a lot, I decided that I would make you a snack that you would be able to enjoy. Mr. Akito went out of his way to teach me how to make a snack that wasn't super sweet. Koharu... I'm sorry that I wasn't able to make good cookies for you. Hey... You don't have to apologize for anything. Huh? You really worked hard for me. That gesture really means a lot to me. Mr. Masamune patted my head and kindly uttered those words to me. Come on, give her a kiss. My heart, which had been a storm of sadness and despair, started to warm up. Since you thought so much about me, I would like to return the favor. After saying those words, Mr. Masamune reached over to the plate of cookies and took one. It'll be fine if it's just one. Mr. Masamune took a bite out of the sweet cookie that I accidentally made for him. I wonder if he's alright. I'm worried. <laughs> that face. It looks so funny when he makes that face. Masamune? Yeah, this is really good. Thank you for making such a delicious cookie for me. It, it was no problem.
problem. If you're happy, then that makes me happy. But I'm sorry I made you go through so much trouble. I'll eat the rest. N no, I'll eat them. You went through the trouble of making them for me after all. B but... <sighs> well, you don't have to eat them all right now, I mean... Mr. Masamune picked up a few more cookies in his hands and continued eating. Aw, oh, why? You know better than this, Masamune. M Mr. Masamune, is it okay for you to eat so many of them? Mmm, <sighs> they're really good. <sighs> Mr. Masamune, you don't have to force yourself, you've already eaten enough. Koharu, I'm sorry. Huh? Oh, he's drunk, alright. Suddenly, I realize that Mr. Masamune is holding me tightly. I want a kiss, not a hug. Well, a hug's a good start. His forearms look so muscular there. Uh, um, Mr. Masamune? I can feel his heartbeat, and his body heat transfers into my body, warming me up. Oh, I... I can't... I can't control myself after I eat sweets. I... I'm... Mr. Masamune's arms start holding me tighter. M Mr. Masamune... Wh what do I do? I'm so embarrassed. My face became warm at the thought of him noticing my heartbeat quicken. I'm sorry, but is it alright if we stay like this a bit longer? Y yes Don't misunderstand me. Huh? The reason I'm holding you isn't because I ate all those sweets. This is what I really want. I just want to hold you. But that's something that I'm not allowed to do. Right now I have responsibilities that I need to prioritize. Yes, I know. The fact that I'm using sweets as a way to do this. I'm such a terrible person. Masamune loosened his grip around me and slowly stepped away. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh no, D don't apologize. I'm... I, I don't mind you holding me at all. Now, I I'm becoming even more embarrassed than when he was holding on to me. Goharu, you're... You don't know how hard it is for me not to touch you right now. Mr. Masamune? Uh, oh, it, it's nothing. Um, thank you very much. Even though I made the cookies to make you happy, I'm becoming really happy too. Next time, I'll make a snack that you can really enjoy. I'm really, really weak against your smile. Mr. Masamune grabbed another cookie as he said that. Then he put it near my mouth. Hmm? What? What is it? Open your mouth. Are you trying to feed me a cookie? Yeah, come on. Okay. <laughs> You're a good girl. The scent of vanilla fills my nose, and the taste of sugar spreads through my mouth. That's strange. It tastes much sweeter than it did before. Is it good? Yes, it's very sweet and very good. I see. Mr. Masamune smiled kindly and patted my head once again. Next time, I'll definitely find a way to help you relax. What are you talking about? You've already done so much to help me with that. Huh? But... I'm telling you that what you've already done is more than enough. But as soon as this journey is over, I will... Mr. Masamune! No, it's nothing. I was just thinking out loud for a second. Well then, let's clean up. I'll help you. Okay, thank you. I see Mr. Masamune's kind smile next to me. A feeling as sweet as the taste of the cookie suddenly envelops me with warmth. I believe in Mr. Masamune. Even after this journey ends, I believe that I will be with him forever. 
Oh, that was a sweet story. Still, poor Masamune. I mean, he gets no action. <laughs> he, it's only ever hugs. He never really... He needs kisses. Kisses, kisses. Yeah, why is, why is Masamune so unaffectionate? He's always holding himself back. He really needs to just let himself go a little bit. I really hope that he gets to actually do more in the sequels. Well, I really hope they translate the sequel soon. I mean, the third one isn't even out yet in Japan, so we have a long way to go for that if we're going to get any sequels at all. But, you know, I want the second game at least as soon as possible. <laughs> Alright, well, the next story will be Natsuiko, so tune in tomorrow for that. And I hope to see you in my future videos. I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.